as infectious disease doctors, we often get called to treat wounds, we get called for wound infection. So this is really very much in our purview to look at wounds and be able to assess them properly. Every ID specialist sees lots and lots of wounds. Uh, wounds on the sacrum, wounds in the foot, wounds in the legs. Uh, so this is part of what we do. And uh, it's essential that we have some kind of working knowledge how to approach them, not just from antibiotics, yes or no, but also how to heal the wounds themselves. If a wound is infected, you know, we would treat the infection, but at the end of the day, healing the wound is what really uh, cures the infection, prevents reinfections. So that, that's what the eye has to be toward. It has to be toward wound healing, not just treating the infection that would occur because of it. Even if we don't actually debride the wounds or we're not affiliated with the wound care center, it still helps us to understand the process of, of wounds, how they form and how they heal. Um, and that has a direct impact on, on infection rates and, and how and treatment of, of infections. Practicing wound care is key. So it's very well to read about stuff in a book, but you have to actually have to have hands-on. And ID physicians have very little hands-on experience. So here we're uh, with the didactic session, we're having them look at wounds and think about it. And then on the hands-on section, they're seeing us actually put on total contact cash. You're not reading about it in a book. And we're going to have them do uh, four different tables. So they're going to be doing a compression table where we're actually going to demonstrate how to put on compression wraps on the legs. We're going to have them debride apples. So in other words, they'll have the instruments in their hands and they'll be able to get a feel for them, how they can use them. And maybe they'll have confidence, yes, I can go back and do it myself. Um, we're going to show them negative pressure wound therapy, which oftentimes the nurse does it and they're just in the bed and it's already done. But they need to know the logistics behind it and how we actually do it. So now they're going to have the opportunity to lay their hands on it and actually do it. And this way they'll understand it better. I think I want them to know that wound care is as important as treating the wound infection. We're very good at treating wound infections. But I want them to know that healing the wound is the ultimate goal here. And so I want them to be aware that even if they're not affiliated with the wound care center or they don't necessarily intend to practice wound care, that they will, they understand that they need to have the patient seen by wound care and that the, and that the patient needs ongoing follow-up for their wounds. And it shouldn't be our job to just come in and treat the one infection and, and leave. So I think that everybody should say, I can do wound care. So on a basic level, everybody should be able to identify certain wounds and take first steps. And then if some are interested in doing more, okay, maybe you want to specialize in wound care, then that would be great also.